I have no idea what this plant is. It gets to be carrots or something. Are you excited about this garden? Uh, not that much. The kids eat uh, mostly uh, pre-prepared foods. The cafeteria does offer, our manager has been very good about offering fresh, fresh um, salads for the kids. Unfortunately, the kids often make choices to make choices of pro more processed foods like chips and uh, ice cream and so forth. What's your favorite food? Ice cream. Do you like vegetables? No, not that much. We're, we're hoping to, to, to make this, the vegetables so good <laughs> that, they, that they will uh, prefer to eat the vegetables rather than the processed foods. The inspiration came from, a, uh, from an initial gathering of teachers. There were a number of groups that, that uh, were asked to come up with a, a long-term project that would um, help the students. <clears throat> I'd just been working in my garden and I thought, what a great, what a great thing for the kids to do. They, everyone said, yes, let's do this. Uh, the first year, we just wanted to get the, the um, infrastructure ready. And as you, you can see behind me here, you can see are the raised beds that were, that were built with uh, funding from a organ local organization called SHIP. There's a grape arbor behind me that they also funded. So at, they were very generous. They also provided the uh, uh, mulch and, uh, and compost and topsoil to, to really to, to, to start the project. Some of them may not like, to, like doing the kind of competitive activities involved in recess. Uh, and this is an opportunity to, for them to do something um, a little different uh, and um, involving you know, physical, physical activity, but not involving competition. Every day, one girl in particular, named Olivia, is standing at the gate, and she wants to work. Can we say what what we're growing this stuff? This is lettuce. This is the um, this is the early Jersey Wakefield right and here. Right here is the more cabbage. And then right here is carrots. And carrots. And then, and then over here is our little mid tree. And some. Actually, yeah, it's a fig tree. It's um, it grows like I don't know. It grows like kind of like peaches. Oh, oh it's a fig tree. That's what I said earlier. It um grows like kind of. Apple things, but not really. Do you guys eat fish from the school cafeteria? Yes. yes. They usually have salads. Yeah, they have salad. Their number one choice is salad. And then sometimes when we pick the lettuce, we bring it in and make it from the salad, from the lettuce. And then um, usually there's, there's the hamburgers, um, chicken, <coughs> and all that. Do you like this stuff? No, not really. Mm -hmm. So I break mine. Yeah. I usually eat lettuce, beans, um, basil, and salads, and a lot of healthy. Usually when the kids pack it, they bring like junk food, and then when your parents pack it, they bring like healthy food. We help out by um, by watering the garden, morning, um, and planting, and uh, letting the. We're picking the stuff. We're picking the lettuce and all that. We bring a big bowl, and we pick the lettuce, put it on the lettuce, and in make the, bowl, the salad. And then we bring it to the cafeteria, rinse it off, and make the, the salad. The cafeteria person that serves us food, um, we give the big bowl to her, and then she washes it all, and then she puts it in the salad. Does it taste good? Yes. I've been really gratified by the uh, involvement of the community. You know, our, our master gardeners have been just uh, really terrific in, in, in giving their time. Uh, and I think they've had more fun here than they expected to. It's been a real community experience, and, I, and I'm Sure it's going to continue to uh, uh, go in that direction. We did a whole lesson about painting and learning the colors and how to mix with watercolors, teaching them that 
we need to create a visual out there for younger kids who don't know what's coming up, crops that are growing, you plant a seed, you don't, everything looks about the same, everything mm -hmm. has green leaves, but then what does it become? And so these are our planter signs, which will indicate the, the crop or the, what we're um, planning to see when it, it's fully done. Right before Thanksgiving, uh, one class of fifth graders came out and harvested all the lettuce, which turned out to be 20 pounds of lettuce. Uh, carrots and beets, and uh, we made a salad. Principal and the vice principal came to the cafeteria, and uh, we pushed a, they pushed a cart around and served salad to the, in, the entire school, K through five. Some of the kids hadn't eaten salad before, and so uh, and others had never tasted a beet. We we had one uh, child who had picked a small carrot, and he was just it was a teeny teeny little carrot, and, and he, he didn't quite know what to make of it, so I washed, washed it off and said, taste it. And uh, he tasted it, and he got this incredible look on his face, and he said, it tastes just like a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, it was the first time he realized that carrots actually come from the ground. You know, they don't come from, they don't come from the store. They don't come from uh, a freezer or a, or a can. There's like a garden ceremony to it? The academic night. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, what is that? You can name the garden and all that, and then they pick one, and then like whoever they pick named the garden, and then they announce it. I'd like to give a token of appreciation to the three students who suggested the name Bumblebee Garden. Abby Tetro <laughs> also suggested Bumblebee Garden. Thank you, Abby. Most especially, I need to thank Charlie Morse. Without none of this would be possible. Thank you for the countless extra hours you've spent in planning, working over the summer, giving up Saturdays, and currently continuing this project by working with our Connections Committee and Garden Club to coordinate learning activities for our students. Our students are going to benefit so much from this project. And it's funny, the, uh, the, the children who have been involved in the garden were very uh, anxious to, to eat, to have the salad, because they had grown it. And when their friends saw them eating the salad, then suddenly, more people wanted salad. So you could actually see interest growing uh, based on the fact that they had participated in this, in this garden. A lot of people feel good about the garden because they're helping in its nature and we get to eat it at school. My favorite part is about helping others and making more friends. Watering it and cleaning it and getting dirty. That was fun, wasn't it? It was kind of fun because we were squirting each other. You were squirting each other uh, while working in the garden. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got hot. We got hot. We probably produced maybe 50 pounds of, of uh, vegetables for the cafeteria. And the, uh, daily, the kids would come out and, and um, and pick lettuce. We waited, it was like a pound every day. We'd be able to get half pound, a pound of lettuce, and it would be used in the salads that the, the cafeteria people made each day for the, for the staff and for the kids. We've exceeded our goals. We really didn't expect to get this far in a year.